So you've gotten used to working with Ecamm's virtual camera in Zoom and in maybe even Google Hangouts or anywhere that really requires a webcam, right? But now you've come upon Microsoft Teams and it's just not working. <gasps> well, that was my story up until just yesterday. I could not get Microsoft Teams and Ecamm's virtual camera to play nice, but I found the solution on the Ecamm support website. I'm gonna walk you through that process in this video. So let's buckle up and let's figure out how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent and I challenge everyday people to think holistically about their relationship to technology and media at home for their families and at work for career success. And in this video, we're going to dive into how to get Ecamm's virtual camera to be seen and used in Microsoft Teams. Let's dive in. So here we are on Ecamm's website. They're basically, they walk us through the entire process and it's fairly self-explanatory. I just wanted to do this quick video for those that want a guide, right? Um, for my public speakers out there like me, I've got a, a speaker session this coming Tuesday uh, where I'm speaking and the, the, the event or organizer sent me the link and I recognized that it was in Microsoft Teams and I was like, oh, I know I haven't figured out how to get this to work yet. So. They, they walk you through the process. And I wanted to say before I go into Teams to show you some of the settings, uh, one of the ways to get to fix this is to just actually downgrade to the older version. And Ecamm was so gracious to actually put that on the site for us. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but there are some functions and features that you will be missing if you don't, if you downgrade. So I wanted to make sure that you know that um, before we dive into the next piece. So here we are on Microsoft Teams and I don't have a Teams account, but one of the ways that you can actually go in and check to see, you know, what does my video look like? Is it working? You go up to this icon at the top. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. This is not as clear in the Ecamm instructions um, as, as probably some of you may need it to be. Uh, but it took me a second or two to figure out, oh, they mean, you know, when they say go into this device settings, they mean go up to your icon. So if you have an avatar already set up in Microsoft Teams, it'll be your picture, but I don't have one. So you're seeing it in the top corner here, uh, that I'm clicking on that avatar with the green check mark. Click on that. It brings down, you know, kind of a little bit of a menu, a little bit of a menu there, and we can click on settings. We want to click on settings. So we click on settings and that gives us this settings window. And on the left side of the screen, you're going to see general privacy notifications, devices and permissions. What we want is per is sorry, devices. So we click on devices here. And of course you're seeing, you know, my speaker, my microphone and different things. These are what would be used in a meeting. Uh, for Microsoft Teams. And if I scroll to the bottom, you are seeing my camera. And so, yes, my webcam is visible to Microsoft Teams. In fact, even my ATEM Mini, which is what I'm using for uh, this video, is actually visible in Microsoft Teams. But you'll notice that Ecamm is not here. And that's the issue. I build out my scenes with my presentation information, all of my slides with me on them. So I come into the meeting uh, without having to share my screen or anything like that. I use my virtual microphone. So when I'm doing a presentation, I've gotten so used to using Ecamm. And so this was going to be a major fail if I can't get this to work. Uh, so this is what that looks like. So what I'm going to do now is pull back up the Ecamm website so that we can look at a small piece of code that they have given us so that we can actually run that on our computers, Mac computers to be clear, um, and, and actually get this thing fixed. So we're going back to the Ecamm website. So here now on the Ecamm website, we scroll down a little bit and you'll see has you know steps one through four here in the middle. And right underneath it, you have this code. And I'm gonna throw that code on the screen for you to see real quick. Um, don't worry. I'm going to put that code in the description of this video. So if you want to grab that, it'll be right below the link to this website, um, on Ecamm's support page is, will also be in the description below the video as well. But yeah, the steps are fairly simple here and we're going to run through those right now. So here we are in terminal. I've just opened up terminal. You can 
pull it up from your applications tray or you can just hit the search bar and type in terminal, whatever way you works best for you. But I've got terminal up on my screen now. And so I'm just gonna actually paste in uh, that, that line of code that I got from Ecamm. And I'm gonna hit that enter key. It's gonna ask you for me for my password, which you cannot see. <laughs> and it's done. I mean that, literally, it's finished. That was it. Paste that piece of code in, hit enter, enter your password for your MacBook or your, your Mac system, and it runs that one little thing. So let's let's go back really quickly to uh, to Google Chrome so that we can actually read what has been said to us by Ecamm that this one line of one uh, one piece of code, one line uh, of code is doing for us. So here we are back in Google Chrome. And so essentially what they're saying is remove Teams code signature. That's what that line of code does. Uh, it's just removing the Teams code signature, all right? Now, the proof is always in the pudding, right? So we wanna go back <laughs> to Microsoft Teams uh, to be able to see, am I gonna be able to pull this up? So now we're back on Microsoft Teams, which is pretty cool. and. I, I'm looking here in the list, it's not there. It's not there, why is it not there? Because I'm gonna need to shut down Microsoft Teams and bring it back up before I can actually test this out. So I'm gonna do that right now. It may not have looked like I did much, but uh, in the few seconds there, as we transition from one scene to the next, I shut down Microsoft Teams, brought it back up, and so now we're back in Microsoft Teams. Again, going back up to my icon here at the top, uh, going down to settings. We wanna go to our settings screen. Then we go to devices, the devices menu under settings, and we scroll down here. And of course, FaceTime HD camera is there, Blackmagic design camera is here, but now we have Ecamm, and you're seeing on screen what I am recording right now. And so I now have the ability to use Ecamm in Microsoft Teams just by running that one line of code. Really cool stuff. Glad, so happy that Ecamm put this out there for us so that we can have this fixed. So that's it, folks. I'm, I'm hoping that this quick little video was helpful for you. I know a lot of public speakers that have gotten very used to Ecamm and using Ecamm as a virtual camera to go into several platforms. And I know that Teams usage is huge. Uh, so invariably, you're gonna run into uh, a meeting that is on Microsoft Teams. So this is very useful for all of us. Uh, this is one video that I am actually using for myself. I got a meeting, a, a presentation that I gotta do next week and I'll be doing that with Ecamm, uh, setting up my scenes, setting up my presentations. And maybe that's something you're gonna wanna see in another video. So let me know in the comments. We are so excited about all that is happening on this channel, How It All Works. We've got the merch page going right now, howitallworks.com slash shop. Uh, we've got the midweek huddle going right now. Every Wednesday at 1230 Central Standard Time, uh, we have this live help session, if you will. Uh, we'll be giving out live stream tips. We uh, bring people in. And if you want tickets to get into the Zoom meeting, you can grab that on buymeacoffee.com. We, of course, have our live show, but our season finale is coming up this, this Monday, February 22nd, end of February, last Monday in February. This is our season two finale, and it's gonna be a big one. So you wanna be there for that. And I'm also encouraging you to grab tickets to the after show because tickets are available on buymeacoffee.com slash Kirk R. Nugent as well. And you'll have access to Marshall Fox and Julian Waddell, who will be my guests on this Monday's live show. So definitely check us out there. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. We continue to put out content like this. Our goal is to get rid of any barriers in the way of you sharing your message live to the world. It's your boy Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, so hoping that somewhere in the video today, we're able to get you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video.